Welcome to the McNasty Zone. Today we are playing Killer Frequency. Movement. There we go. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Picking up objects. Gotcha. We got some beer. We got a little brewski. Uh, you can hold swap objects between hands, F to drop, R to throw, and right to place object release when about in a valid location. Okay. Yep, yep. Now you can get out of here. I don't know what's... Why did we start in an alleyway with all these dumpsters? I'm a little confused. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything there. We got some more. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what. Did I just turn the power on? <laughs> Maybe. I kind of want to drink this brewski. Let's get the party started. What in the? Where is that coming from? Okay. We got ghosts? Someone haunting me? <laughs> um. Uh, what, what, what? KFA? Uh, inspect an object by pressing E, begin expecting hold, and then move while expecting press E to exit. Ah, oh, ah, okay. Yes, let's inspect this beer some more. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice brewski right there. <laughs> kind of mouse trap. Um, well, I don't really want to get rid of this brewski. So I think I'll hold on to it. Crouch control. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Um, I don't know why I'm searching these garbage cans. Am I gonna get like a jump scare? Oh. Water running there. <laughs> Opening doors, uh, and then direction. Yeah. Okay. We're in a building. What were we doing out there? Were we lost? That's kind of an interesting clock. Um. Whoa. What was that? Uh, why is my brewski floating there? something Peggy huh hear what I thought I heard someone yelling or I don't know how it was Forrest, a is this a joke no I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something oh and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up you probably just heard some cats outside cats you know four legs whiskers tails not dogs <laughs> I know what a cat is but I mean does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Yeah, let's do the checks. Get All right, paid. fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. <laughs> let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, 
and hit play. Easy. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what do we got over here? Um, step. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Alert. Late night lurkers. I guess we're going with this one. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. Okay. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Uh, line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. <laughs> Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on, the Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. <laughs> I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Uh, sound blaster? Uh, this? Oh. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. Yeah. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay, well, got the beats going. What is this? Sliders should be oh, right in front yeah, of you. I like, see Like, directly it. in front. All huh? right, I see it. seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. <laughs> let's crank it up now, so you can't hear Let's Peggy. get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Time to turn the music off. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, guess that what do you scream. mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Did you? Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Oh yeah. I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it! 
That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. The... Perturbed Yeti scream. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Boom, 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 boom. Should I introduce the song? Uh, Listen yes? in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. If you dare. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. I'm a natural talent. What do I say? Uh, oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Yes, okay, yes. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. <gasps> oh, okay. How do I throw this? Oh, oh anyways. Uh, let's see. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. You calling to guess that scream? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize your voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Uh... Leslie, I'll level Play with you. It. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Uh, where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Okay. Um, you can count on me. 
You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. I'm a pro. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Find another set of keys, duh. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Um, why don't you check the officer's desk? Have you looked around the officer's desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I'd check, too. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't the see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Get in there. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. <laughs> I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Um, I can handle this all night. You There's have no way no that I can do this I all night. I mean, sure, we got the deputy out of the cell, but what if the person that did this decides they aren't done? What do we do then? Then we do our best. We don't have any other choice, really. I guess we don't. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. It's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh! What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? There's that whistling. No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? In those the gorgeous locks. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? I think He's so. He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Let's oh, stay no. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Take the police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, I'll just reach 
reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Mm -hmm. But wait, how am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Uh, yeah, take his gun. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Uh, is there a weapons lockup? There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. Mm hmm. No. 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 Uh, shit! None of the keys work. Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Not the first thing you do. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? The pepper spray. The pepper spray should be easy to use and carry. Take that. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? Yes. Yes. But just to make sure we mean the same thing, what do you hear? The knocking stopped. Everything's gone really quiet. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Oh no. Okay. Deputy Martinez? If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Isn't he dead? Yep. There Wait. you go. Are you sure about the this, Leslie? Dead. No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Perfect. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck. Over and out. <sighs> Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Yes, yes. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Oh. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Ten four. That's a big ten four there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's, what's happening? happening? The whistling. No. Get off who? Forrest, the pepper spray is not working. It's not getting through the mask. Oh. No! Leslie! Get out Leslie, of there! Drive. drive! Martinez! God damn it! Hold it Leslie, together! You need to hold it together right now. Forrest. He slit her throat. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. How long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Oh, you better floor you it, dude. pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. Thank you. I'll be back as fast as I can. All right, both I... God damn it. I need a minute.
I'll be out of range soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can, once I got the cavalry. Got it. Um, take care. Take care, Leslie. And be safe out there. Over Good and luck, out. Leslie. <sighs> well, I guess they're staying on the floor for now. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Perfect. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. <laughs> This is we not rock what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Tell me Did about she really it. say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. It just. Seems like a great way to do it. No motive. Just because. Just having fun, you know? Oh, there's still more to do. Okay. Uh, can, we, can we just slide? What kind of door opens both ways like that? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. What? So we're so screwed? We're screwed. Because it sounds like we're screwed. Well, probably not. Police chased him up to Alice Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... It was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Guess we'll find I out. Guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind I of guess. listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? Wow. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Are you, Are you serious? serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. Oh my gosh. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? What am I oh. doing here? How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Millions. About five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We can only dream of that. Five million. Million. That's million? what I'm talking about. Yeah, Millions. Sometimes it's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take hey. it when you're ready. Yes. When um, you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in?
Do you accept requests? Do request? you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <sighs> Maybe you must make a sacrifice to oh, us. Oh, this is a prank. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Good try, bud. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut them yeah, off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega gold. <laughs> For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Moonlight. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no, no. chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Are you messing Christ. with me? Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, let's... We gotta stop this. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? Uh, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, Shit. right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name sharp and I need the cops now sheriff's I'm dead. sorry Sandra but the sheriff is dead we're trying to get help in from Henderson now what God. Listen, you've got to help me then I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me knife in hand oh, oh. god it's actually happening uh. A jazz you run. went out for a jazz run? What? What is that? What is it? It's jazz running, baby. And it got my butt all the way back to my car before I got slashed. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. Oh no! I the door at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Uh. Is there anywhere else? Is there can... anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... And you're gonna die. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know a thing about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. Hotwire it. You're gonna have to help me. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. If it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Yep. Let's pull up YouTube. We'll find you a hot wire. Listen to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Uh, let's throw something else on. The word. Let's see what this one's all about. Oh, yeah, I like it. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Yeah, that's smooth. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora <sighs> Twins Just or like something. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Uh, okay. Uh, let's look at what this map is all about first. 
in where okay we're right here she was was she out by the giblet field okay so we got giblet field on the north Mine estates west cemetery gallows gallows and sons there's a pizza shop fire station uh, Woodside Apartments, Trailer Park, Gallows Waste Disposal. Okay. I've kind of got it down in case we need that map. Uh, Romero Street is the main, looks like. Hmm. Perfect. Well, let's check out these offices. Ooh, this is a nice little office. I mean, uh, building. Some magazines, top hits. What do we got in here? Not much, I'm guessing. Doesn't appear to be too many hits going on in this old uh, uh, radio station. Oh! Ah, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. You're not getting in there tonight. You're just gonna ignore me, I'm guessing. It let me sit out here with this door unlocked. <laughs> okay, we got the bath. So why is there a leak? I take everything back that I said about this place. This is not that nice. Uh, okay. What is that noise? Is there a goddamn rat in here? That's not a good noise. Scream. I don't like that at all. Ah, uh, volume, whatever. Daily news for the Gallows Creek. See, uh, GC High wins the big game, 28 to 20. Okay. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. So many locked doors, so few keys. Right. What do we got here? Oh, that's bright. That's very bright. A photocopy machine. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what was I looking for again? <laughs> what the offices? Oh. Grilling spree ad. Eh, I guess I'll take that. Can't go wrong with the grilling spree ad. Gotta play some ads to get some money. Was this what I was after? The, the grilling spree ad? Oh. Oh, cool. Interesting. Okay, got like one of those bird deals. A little birdie. Play this ad. Let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh no, we're out of beer. What am I gonna oh, do? Oh no. Not the brewskis. Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we. <laughs> Murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spree. I'll call up 555-749-8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. You find anything? What? Uh, uh, uh. Remind me what I'm looking remind for again. Remind me what I'm looking for again. The caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah. And we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Motors, yeah. I would go see what they have on their desk at the far end of the offices. Thanks, okay. Peggy. Okay. 
That's what we're after. Nuts and bolts. I've borrowed your car, theft, magazine, those Hooverous ranchers aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read, pray for me. Okay. Um, yes, yes, yes. We got some tools. What is, is this what we're really we're looking for the magazine here? set this down for a second. Nope. Nothing. Drop that. Ah, yeah, let's see what you got in your drawers. Let's go snooping. Nothing. That's some tickets. Admit one. And I think we're good there. Got here anything? Nothing. Anything here? Nothing. I don't know. Not really seeing a whole lot. I guess we'll uh, head back with this magazine. If you ask me, this magazine looks like it's got what we need. Big old monster truck. Okay, let's see what she's got to say. You find anything? Uh. Um. I'm done looking. Let's just get on with the call. You yes. sure about that? Yeah, let's do this. If you're sure. Caller oh. on line one. Thanks, what? Peggy. <sighs> We're back with 189.16. The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Uh... The screwdriver ignition and oh, uh, um, on steer. Uh, yes. yes. I screw the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Keep at it. Do your jazz. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow, yellow. wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Mm-hmm. Um. It's always the red. But is it red and blue or red, red and yellow? We're gonna go with red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. Hopefully we it doesn't blow. And we yellow, and we twist, and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wire. Strip wires. the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. I'm a genius. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. Thanks. Glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. Glad you're safe, Sandra, but please lay off the jazz. Sorry, Forrest. My life is my own, especially after that. I'm happy to be me. I'm happy for you too, Sandra. And come on, Forrest. Just have fun with it. I don't think jazz should be that big of a part of anyone's personality. That's all. And it's not Forrest. fun. Ah, oh, don't worry about him, baby. He'll learn one day. Anyway, gotta get home now. Thank you all again. Mwah! Okay. You did it, Forrest! Yes. Sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest.
We're going for it. It's yes. funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. <laughs> I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Everyone knew that. Peggy, Peggy be, honest, be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab, Stab happy. happy. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. You know, After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> smell? What the? There's no smell. You, you've lived here your whole life, Peggy. You wouldn't recognize it by now. Oh, poor anyway, Peggy. I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I don't think so. We should keep it on going. Caller on line one. Perfect. Stop this. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Okay. Uh, oh. Hello, Brian, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. It's just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, thank uh, God. A little something to look forward to when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, <laughs> it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> words tonight, I guess. Uh, don't hey, worry, don't about, worry it. about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. That's what well, this show's I all about. I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. I could go for a brewski. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Oh, no. Peg, really? Hang up on him. Wow. We're done. Oh, real quick. Before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. Oh. You know how to play an ad, right? Yeah, I already did. More money, the better, you know? Uh, we will go with this one. Ooh, Merca. I like it. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Teddy's Unlike the best. current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy oh, Gallows Jr. Linda. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, He's Mayor now Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? 
Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. So My is... name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Linda's God, the whistler? 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Ugh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Ah, uh, well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. I think it's Teddy Gallows. Teddy Gallows is the killer trying to set up Linda. Calling it right now. Um, oh, we, we got have a, caller. a call waiting. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and. Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Tell me Never what's mind happened. that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Oh no, <laughs> get out of there. Teens. They get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye <laughs> when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't you think don't he's understand. a teen. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. You're a goner. Every year this happens. Maurice. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. What if he killed Sheriff Matthews? Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Um, uh, can you get out of there? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. Oh, I'm no. guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? Grab All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw mm -hmm. the killer away. Mm-hmm. That's a good plan. Uh, and get an exclusive. Get an exclusive yes. interview with the killer. That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. It's oh. worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. 
All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Be writing. Ooh, he's photocopying me something. Oh, I know. I gotta. You, get... you don't think the killer got him, do you, Mr. Russell? I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Yes, I knew it. Don't let me down. I won't. Oh, I promise. Uh, I'll go pick up the map. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest. Go, Fox Forrest! Run! Office on the other side of the hall. Yes, Thanks, I know. Maggie. Be right back. Yes. Run, Forrest, run! I okay. got it. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Yes. Grab the facts from the machine. Yes. Easy. Oh, right here. This must be it. Uh-huh. So... Hold on. He's in the boardroom. Right? Uh... Those are the two exits. Okay. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes. Yes, I have it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, <laughs> folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move three. Maurice somewhere safe. So. What extension should I call? Zero three. Uh, d -d 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 editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Uh, the archives. Um. You're moving to the archives. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere he's already checked. Yeah. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? We're going for it. Make the call. Yes, sir. Ooh, maybe I should have sent him to the kitchen. Now. To grab a knife. No. I hope this plan works. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. You can thank me later. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're I'm the safe brains home. behind this. Thank you. It's your producer I'll be crediting <sighs> if I make it through this. How rude. The coast is clear. Go! I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Okay. Do you think he'll make it okay? Yeah. I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is going to buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We got to think of something else. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Uh, ready as I'll ready ever be. Ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Perfect. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh... Right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly, or quietly. Um... Can you lock him? Could you, you lock, lock him, him in a room? room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Damn fire regulation. Say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Uh, He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Ooh. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. 
What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Huh. Uh... You conspiracy uh, fan? I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. Aliens are no conspiracy. He has conspiracy. quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? Yes. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. Perfect. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... He's a goner. Catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. <laughs> so we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Um, hmm. Is there, uh, 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 is there a radio Maybe in there? we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret uh, archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? <laughs> Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. <laughs> I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Yeah. Will you Forrest. idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be here in the archives. Oh, Actually, perfect. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. I always do. Exactly as yep. planned. That was a uh, 100% just me thinking ahead. Oh, yeah. Exactly as planned. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Uh, Turn Maurice, down the music. Turn the volume down. Uh, we don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure you were. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Yeah, I think I deserved a day off, too. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! Uh, we're the radio! Yes! We can just be quiet until you're ready! Yes. If you can do that, then... Yeah, <laughs> sure! Play an ad. 9.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio <laughs> on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Okay. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? The, 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 the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm Make sure. the call. Make the call. We're done. Okay, calling the boardroom now. Okay. You can hear him. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Got it. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Um, uh, I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. <laughs> I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to sleep. <laughs> what a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. I thought Here that we was go. pretty good. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal. 
and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. Well, I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Don't go for it. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Yeah, you gotta go in the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. Yep. You got time. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We got know it. the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. But can he? I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! <laughs> I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! <laughs> oh. oh yeah. It's getting louder. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in, We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> Thank you. I can't Thank you. believe that actually worked! I know. Uh, there was an ever on, any Maurice. doubt. Was there ever any doubt? Thank oh, God, it's over. I'll be off now. Yep, get out of there. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Probably I'll not. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer, killer tunes. tunes. Yeah. Yes, Storm Riders. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the, the Glam Jam. Jam. Mm. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. Well, I ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. Sure about that? You're not so Bad scared. idea. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Maybe I like being Did a mystery. It occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery. Too Gotta play bad. hard to get. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. None of your business. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. You better be. <laughs> You're sorry? Why? Did you, Did do, you it? do it? Of course not! I only... I'm just messing with you. <laughs> anyway. What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. What a coincidence. Huh. What a coincidence. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. 
Mm. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that. Any yeah. siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Not really. Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K-Fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Oh. Oh. Gee, thanks, Peggy. Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Yep. I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> okay. okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. So now I got a key. Is it? Oh, okay. It was this one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. First floor. Whoa. Is this? Is this the upstairs? Can I? Can I go up here? Is it? Is it? Ah, it's locked. I see. Oh, I see. It's a, a tape. tape. Play, Play me on air. on air. Okay, I can do that. That is what I do for a living. I play tapes on air and records. Uh, what do we got back here? Phones, magazines. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a. What is? What is this? Eh. Oh, snap. I need a key to get in there. Of course, it's always a key. Well, well, let's get back up there and let's see what we got. Better be some interesting. And I would really like to lock this door back up. But I don't think I can. So I'm not smart enough to do that. Yeah, this building has a lot of water damage. Like, look at this. Oh, I really misjudged this building when I first came out. I thought it looked pretty nice, and then... What is that? This is not a nice building. There's so much water damage. Probably got bats. Got some bat guana in the... In the ceilings? Oh. Even that ceiling tile's effed up. Jeez. Not taken care of at all. Okay, so we put that in there. Put that in there. Grab this. Put that in there. And let's stop this. And let's play this. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Uh, tell me about it. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the. Oh, <clears throat> folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't Ooh, know how spooky. or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. It's like Scream. There's Give multiple us a call killers. if you need help. You can get us on 911. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's multiple killers. Call them out already. But one of them... Is hey, no doubt we had a call come in. That guy running for mayor. What is the call? Yeah, let's read it. Mm -hmm. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... F Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling oh, man no. is gone! He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I 
Found some bodies? We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. Uh -huh. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Uh-huh. Did you let him Did escape? Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room, the room was, was empty. empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... He's a ghost? Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, Peggy. how do we know he's not? Moni, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you, and everyone listening, do the same. Yep. He seems really spooked. Not a bad idea. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, got you're probably right. But what do we do now? Well, we play some tunes, because that's what we do. On the screen. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's <laughs> go to a break. I need you for a second. Yes. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Yeah. Okay. What one is for? Uh, the, the. Yeah. We're going with the hang-ups. It's for all those folks out there. Yes. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. <sighs> Come on. What's up with all the cassettes? What? <sighs> okay. I missed that. <sighs> what is up with all this water everywhere? People not know how to clean up water messes? Is it we in Seattle? Is it raining all the time? Uh eject. Grab. Boom. 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 Wood. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. Mm -hmm. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? No? What? Hmm? Uh... Big Roddy Are fan. you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single! 
We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay, I think we're calling it there. Tune back in to The Scream to see if we play the single. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.